Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Ethical Consumer. Welcome to our latest video in our ethical shopping series. Today I'm going to be talking about something you might find surprising. That cute, fluffy, eco brand you love. Is it really as cuddly as it seems? Here are five well-known ethical brands that are actually owned by unethical companies. Over the years, many ethical brands have been bought out by unethical companies. In some cases, the bigger companies are looking to improve their image or tap into the ethical market by buying up a smaller ethical competitor. Some brands make ethical claims but have always been owned by unethical companies. At Ethical Consumer, we always rate companies based on their ownership, so you can be sure you're not buying vegan products from a company involved in factory farming or your green energy from a company involved in fossil fuels. There are a surprising number of ethical brands owned by unethical companies, and here are just five of them. Number one, Green and Black's Chocolate. Green and Black's was known as an ethical pioneer, becoming the first company with a fair trade certified chocolate bar back in 1994. However, in 2005, it shocked fans when it was bought out by Cadbury, which later became a part of Mondelez. Green and Black's owner Mondelez has come in for some serious criticism in recent years. The company receives ethical consumers worst rating for its policy on sourcing cocoa, an ingredient often linked to child labour and other worker rights issues. Remember that controversial ingredient from our previous video? Palm oil? Mondelez has been criticised several times over its palm oil supply chain, including for buying from a company that has been linked to deforestation in Southeast Asia and Africa. As recently as 2020, it was claimed that these problems still had not been addressed. The Green and Blacks brand, now just a subsidiary of Mondelez, has also been criticised. In 2017, it dropped the fair trade and organic labels when it launched a new range. The Velvet Edition has Mondelez International's own label, Coco Life, and no organic content. You can find out more about Mondelez and Green and Blacks in the company profile on our website. There's a link in the description below. Number two, Pucka Herbs. Pucka is a B Corp that sells organic and fair for life teas. However, in 2017, it was bought by the multinational Unilever. Although Unilever has taken some steps to clean up its act over the last decade, it remains the target of widespread criticism. In 2020, Kenyan tea workers filed a UN complaint over alleged human rights violations by another of its subsidiaries, relating to when ethnic violence broke out following a disputed election in 2007. They claimed that Unilever failed to support or protect workers who were attacked, and that they were not paid when the plantations were closed following the unrest. At the time, more than 10% of Unilever's global workforce was employed on the plantation. In 2019, the company was also accused by the Food and Allied Workers Union of hiring private security guards who attacked striking workers. The workers claimed to have been attacked with rubber bullets and pepper spray while peacefully picketing. Unilever also owns some other more progressive brands, such as the clean skincare brand Ren, which markets itself as free from toxic chemicals, parabens and phthalates, animal ingredients and pore-blocking petrochemicals. You can discover more about Unilever and its brands on their company profile page on our website. There's a link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel now so you don't miss any of our latest videos about ethical shopping. Number three, All Pro Non-Dairy Milks. All Pro may specialize in plant-based milks and yogurts, but its owner group Danone is far from ethical when it comes to human or animal rights. Danone is the number one retailer of fresh dairy products globally. Through its brands Danone, Oikos, Activia, Danonino, Silk and Actimel, it has a 26% share of the global fresh dairy products market. 
Danone also owns the less well-known Provamel, Soya Soleil and Silk brands, which offer vegan products. The company continues to use factory farmed animal products, linking it not only to animal rights issues, but also climate issues. You can find a link below to discover more about dairy and climate change. Danone faces a global campaign over its unsafe marketing of baby milk formula. According to Baby Milk Action, the company targets health workers and sponsors health worker events and charities, which violates international baby milk marketing standards. The World Health Organization has provided guidance prohibiting the aggressive marketing of formula since 1981, over the fears that it was undermining the importance of breastfeeding and risking the health and lives of babies and children. The company has also been accused of testing on animals, so perhaps it's not the best option for vegans. Check out the company profile page in the link below. Number 4. Ecova and Method Ethical brands Ecova and Method face an ongoing boycott call over their parent company's links to animal testing after they were bought out by S.E. Johnson in 2017. Ecova and Method are both cruelty-free, but S.C. Johnson openly admits to testing on animals. S.C. Johnson owns other non-cruelty-free brands, including Duck, Shout, Glade, Pledge, and Windex. In response to the boycott, Ecova and Method have committed to using their influence to convince S.C. Johnson to stop animal testing. Ecova and Method's ethics scores, ethical consumers rating system, fell significantly from 11.5 and 12 respectively to just 5.5 due to the takeover. S.C. Johnson receives ethical consumers' worst rating for its likely use of tax avoidance, environmental reporting, carbon management and reporting, pollution and toxics, and supply chain management, as well as animal testing. Again, you can find out more about the company in the link below. Number 5. Innocent Smoothies Innocent makes up most of its ethical credentials, but the truth is its parent company is anything but Innocent. Innocent is 90% owned by Coca-Cola, which has been accused of everything from complicity in violence against unions to contributing to a water crisis. The company is also the world's largest plastic polluter. In the early 2000s, Coca-Cola, alongside its Colombian bottling partners, faced extended lawsuits from the Colombian food and drink union, Sinatrina. The suit alleged that the bottling companies directed paramilitary security forces who murdered, tortured, and unlawfully detained trade union leaders. Coca-Cola was never convicted. In more recent years, its subsidiaries in Indonesia, the Dominican Republic, and the Philippines have all been accused of worker rights abuses, including anti-union violations. The company has also repeatedly been criticized for siphoning off vital water supplies in regions facing water shortages. The local Coca-Cola bottling company has been accused of being one of the biggest industrial water guzzlers and alleged polluters in El Salvador's region of Nahapa. According to one study, the country will run out of water within 80 years unless radical action is taken. Coca-Cola also owns Costa Coffee, as well as a number of other soft drink brands, including Fanta, Sprite, Monster Energy, and Appetizer. You can find out more about the company in the link below. Ethical shopping can be tricky when you're faced with ethical brands owned by unethical companies. But don't despair. Ethical shopping is about being informed and aware of the issues so that you can make the right decisions that suit you. We'd love to hear about your ethical shopping journey. What are your favorite brands? Which issues are most important to you? How do you navigate your way around buying seemingly ethical products that turn out to be owned by companies that aren't so ethical after all? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, we're here to help you on your ethical journey. So like this video, subscribe to the Ethical Consumer channel and turn on notifications so you can receive all our latest videos. See you next time.